Today I share with you my favorite stick of all time. What's going on Thorn Army? This video is so overdue, but I kind of like the idea of uh, showing you guys my weapon of choice after I use them a lot and really fall in love with them. Because is it really your weapon of choice until you absolutely use it every day and love it to death? Um, I just think it's funny because we do kind of these beautiful, elegant, artistic sticks. And mine are always kind of like, yeah, this is what I was trying to figure out to offer you guys it. And I just fell in love with it. Um, I think there's something in there that in lies, um, you know, our, the honesty of our product and what I try to do here. But it's always just funny to me. And I can't stop looking at it because I love it so much. But um, it's just, that's really funny to me. It's like, we have all these beautiful sticks I show you. And then mine's like, oh yeah, it's in the corner. It's when I was testing out to figure out how to make this stuff work. But um, it, I like that. I think I'm coming to realize that's just the way things need to be. Um, I re literally just did this one up to try... Um, you know showing you guys a pinching tutorial tried a new pocket and um, Just fell in love with it I was literally as soon as I showed up I was like yep using that tonight for box and let's find a game tomorrow So I can use it again, and I haven't put it down since um, it's been a lot. It's been through a few rainstorms now um, it Seems like every time we go and set up a tent anywhere it rains um, We've been shooting around with it. I've been using it for about a month and absolutely love it um, So let's get into the beauty here is my pinched maverick metric. Uh, thank you to my buddy Hoff Meister for hooking me up with this yellow one. Um, I think when Maverick came out with this, I think they were thinking about me because who in the hell uses this yellow besides myself? It's like really hard for me. I think maybe the launch do, but their jerseys are pretty rough. Um, but anyway, this is my pinched Maverick metric with the privateer pocket on a special edition Dragonfly. Um, I have to say, I think I love this stick so much because I had a hand in all of the parts of it and it kind of shows, you know, I've talked about the Epic about doing that, but just kind of shows the impact we have and I think that's really special. And I have put up some serious points with this stick already. Um, my, my just ability to do what's in my head and instinctual in the field and make it happen has gone up a lot from using the stick. I'm very, very comfortable with it. So this is the exact head from the pinching tutorial. So that's why the face shape's a little different. It's held up really well. I've literally beaten the crap out of people with this stick and everything has been fine. Um, got used to the kind of the spading of the scoop and love that. Um, it's just been a great stick. In terms of the privateer, it's the same exact one that you guys saw me do for, uh, Peter's, mine's just a little broken in, um, that's about it. So it's got a privateer with 15 mil soldier in it. We got gray stringing going all around, yellow nylons, white shooters, and black locks. Smooth, smooth stick. Absolutely love the way it throws. You can see the channel right there is gorgeous. A little bit more broken in mine's a little bit more baggier than his because uh, he has kind of a field regulation. But this one, uh, it's just broken in beautifully. Everything's held up great. Um, in terms of the shaft, uh, it's an epic Dragonfly Special Edition. The first one uh, means a lot to me. I think I will always cherish the shaft. And then um, we did the uh, sandpaper grip on it, so there's no real reason for me to tape it the whole way, which I really love. So I just got a little um, Ender donut on here with uh, the white epic one. Wanted to keep it all epic to give it that clean look. Um, something I talk a lot about is a lot of people complain about like the weight of sticks. And yeah, you know, having a really heavy stick is kind of annoying. Um, but it more so for me, I think it might come from my hockey background because I used to have my sticks made and stuff. Um, it's all about balance. When I'm like holding the stick and I'm playing with it, I just want it to feel balanced in my hand. I don't want it to be top heavy. I don't want it to be bottom heavy. Um, cause when you're using the weight of your wrist and the sticks, that's really what it means more about having a really, really light stick also. Um, sometimes I forget to hold on to it and I just kind of like loosely grip it and I find myself getting yard sailed more, especially in tight. Um, so the weight and factor of these things really isn't to me. I just really love a balanced stick. Um, and this definitely delivers to me because the metric's a little bit of a heavier head, but I don't really realize it um, as much as some other people do. And just the balance between this head and this shaft, I think is the big thing. Because this head is very stiff. I've said it, I like really stiff heads that have a little bit of flex going this way because um, that will snap when I shoot and give me a little more power. But I don't want it to really flex too much this way because when you shoot, it will warp and it will bend your shot. And so I like a little bit stiffer head. Makes it more accurate when you're shooting and also when you're checking people. I do play both ways a lot, especially in box. Um, I want I don't want to hit someone just have it go through. I want something a little bit flat. The other thing I like about having the flat scoop at the top or the, the flat flex is when I put it down for a ground ball, it will lay flat more, um, give me a cleaner scoop, but then won't 
really warp and stuff like that. Um, and then the shaft actually gives me the flex because it's, it's an epic. Um, and that's what I love. I, I just, I've said it a million times, shooting with this thing is a dream. Literally where I want the ball to go without even thinking it goes there. And um, I've had that with other sticks, but not to the point of this. This thing, in many ways, kind of is like how I feel like Mikey Powell feels like his sticks, about his sticks. It's kind of, uh, it's his brush. It's the way to create. And this one, I feel like it frees me up to create um, unique situations on the field because I'm not ever worrying about it. I know where the ball's going. I know where it can go. I know when the ball's gonna roll out or when I'm gonna have extra hold. So it allows me to really kind of paint my, my own like depiction of what I want to happen on the field and in certain scenarios with people. And it has really um, kind of liberated me overthinking things, um, which I really like and has freed me up to do more things, to be more aggressive. And that has only led to more points on the board and having a lot more fun. So if I can give that to other people, um, that would probably be my greatest achievement because I see this thing and I have to go play lacrosse. There's, there's no, it doesn't sit in the corner. It comes with me everywhere. It's always on my back. And uh, that's what lacrosse is for me. Lacrosse is not just a sport, not just an activity. Um, it's something much greater that has connected me to a lot of amazing people and met a lot of amazing friends and had a lot of amazing memories. And uh, just looking for the future of that and the future of having more sticks like this, I guess. I mean, I don't really want another one until this one dies and I need one. Um, but always having a connection like this from now on, I think will mean a lot to me. Kind of had it with my Evo X6. By the way, if you guys don't know, all my heads are retired up here. I'll show you guys them in Throne Chronicles. We got the first Throne Pocket, first piece of Throne Mesh, my Evo X6, the first Throne Leather, and then um, have my uh, my Evo X that we did the Super Smash Lax with. That was a really fun one. So one day this will probably hang up there and I'll have a new favorite one that I'll tell you guys all about. But for now, this is my beauty and this is my weapon of choice. As always, let me know what you guys think of my stick in the comments below. Um, I love it, so I hope you guys love it. That's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys soon. white Carolina throat, Royal Nylon white shooters, and Carolina locks. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. There's not